everyone, this is the uh, gaming table I built. I hope to use it for uh, poker, cards, board games, uh, Warhammer, D&D, you know, just, just whatever. Um, the centerpiece here is covered in uh, nylon velvet cloth. Uh, it's real nice for cards. They slide on it real good. It's got uh, some stiff foam underneath it, so it's got a little bit of give. And it's real smooth. Uh, on the sides here, I have these fold-outs. So, if you have uh, you know any uh, sort of writing or reference books or anything that you need, you can set them right in here. Uh, this center part here folds out, and it's got a lip on it for rolling dice into, so the dice don't come off the edge. Uh, these fold-outs are the same on the far side too, and then on these sides. There's one fold out each, and then the other areas here are just uh, you know extra shelving. And this is open too when it's folded up, so you can put stuff in there. In each of the corners, there's two cup holders, so there's eight cup holders around the whole table. And uh, finally, the centerpiece here is removable, and underneath is a warhammer table. And I'll show you that in a second. All right, so now I'll try and give you a close-up view of the different features of the table. Here's one of the fold-outs. See, it's a nice, uh, nice writing area there. There's a dice box there. This is a cup holder. This is just the uh, shelving that doesn't open up. This is the uh, fold out on the short end. So close up of the, the cloth. Wood. Just the other side of the table here. So this is a table with the top removed. You can see the Warhammer play field in the center there. Fits in there nicely. Here I've got the, uh, the dice box and I uh, took an extra piece of uh, the uh, velvet and uh, Mounted it to some foam, and it uh, fits right in there to protect the, the box when you're rolling dice. So, so that works real nice for Warhammer.